Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Just giving people a little more time to join in. A couple books for you today. Just give some time here. Looking good, looking good. Right. Well, it's five after. We might as well get her going. Hi, everybody. Shane on you here doing story time with Shane on you. So everybody gather around, get comfy. Hope you like the outfit today. Uh, yeah, yeah. Looking pretty cool. So yeah. So we'll give her a start and we will start off with... Oh boy, which book do we want to start off with? Hmm. Can I be your dog? Who doesn't love a good dog story? Yas. Perfect. Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. Ooh. Look at all the stamps. Crazy. A lot of stamps. Can I be your dog? Everybody see the dog there? Cool. Mm -hmm. Dear people, at Yellow House, woof, can I be your dog? I'm potty trained. I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I can see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfie. P.S. I know every house in the in the Butternut Street on Butternut Street, but if I but I asked you first. Sorry, gotta get the tongue going here. It's the yellow house on Butternut Street. Dear Arfie, we are so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is um allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search, the Honeywells. Oh, that's sad. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. Let's see what Arfie did there? There's the Chop Chop Shop. Isn't that a great name for a butcher shop? Chop chop. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking on it in a pooch. Veronica Shank, butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets, and good luck finding a home. Oh, at least she tried to end it nicely in the end there. Okay. Nom nom nom. 
At least he's eating them. He's enjoying them. Dear Fire Station number five, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I know a, a, my way around a fire hydrant. <laughs> I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street, mm -hmm. and yours is the shiniest. Arfy. Get that out of there. Hopefully some of you have got to visit a uh, fire, de uh, fire department before. I know that I've got to go to one, and what an amazing place. It's just phenomenal. Can't blame Arfi for wanting to live there, that's for sure. But, dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Sincerely, number five. No fire station for him. Poor Arfi. What's Arfi going to do? Dear Junkyard Guy, I'm not going to lie. You're my next to last choice. But these past few days have been rough. 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 So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much, and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully, yours, Arfi. Dear Mutt, get lost. Ooh, that wasn't very nice at all. Not very nice at all. That's okay. That is absolutely okay. Oh boy, dear last house on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds, and your windows are broken, and there's a funny smell, but I'm not picky, just lonely. Arfy. Arfi, soggy box to into the alley. Return to sender. Nobody at this address. Last house on Butternut Street. Arr Can any of you people howl at home? I hope you're howling at home and scaring everybody else in the house who doesn't know what's going on. Uh oh. Look how sad he is. What is Arfi gonna do? I'm not sure. If you know, don't ruin it for everybody else. Uh oh. He's sleeping in the box. He's sleeping in the box. And then he wakes up and. Oh, what's that? What is that? I don't know. Let's find out. Dear Arfi, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And see that you are already... see, And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first-class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. Yay for the letter carrier. So happy. Oh. Oh. Look at that. She's looking. She's waiting for him. Oh. That's awesome. <gasps> Look at his face. Oh. That is a match made in heaven. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfie. P.S. Woof! Oh, look what he got. Scratches for that. Perfect. Scratches on the head. All right. Here's how you can help a homeless animal. Oh, this is great. You can adopt a shelter animal instead of buying a pet. You can volunteer at a shelter or a pet adoption event. 
You can spay or neuter your pets so there'll be fewer fur babies to find a home for. Um, you can donate to your local animal shelter or national am animal advocacy group, such as the Humane Society, for example. Um, you can extend a helpful paw, paw so all the animal friends can find your fur can find forever homes. From Arfi. Look at that. So there's some tips. And there we go. Perfect. There's book number one down. Well, look at you guys. I see my big sister joined in too. Hello, sis. How you doing? All right. <clears throat> Let's go on to our last book for today. And then I've got to chase down my librarian because I only have one book left. And that one is a special book for a special day. So. We'll go with this one. Better get some books for tomorrow, eh, I guess? All right. No Help Wanted by Ruth Ohi. Or Ohi. Could be saying it wrong. Oh. Bluey was room for two's new class pet. Sometimes Shane has a hard time reading from an angle here. Mr. Zen talked about how someone needed to feed Bluey every day. Posey was very keen. Let's see, everybody's got their hands up in the classroom. Posey picked the fanciest food flakes for Bluey. This one's shaped like a woolly mammoth. Posey and Bluey together singing songs. Posey provided stimulation so Bluey was never bored. We can all be friends, growled Posey in her bestest monster shark voice. See, she had made some fish toys so she could play. The following day, Jacob said, I made a puppet too. I'll take that, said Posey. This will help my parade scene. Ooh, that wasn't very nice. It's not nice to take toys from other people or take their, especially if they made it. I mean, who does that? I think Bluey needs a checkup, said Sam. I'm a vet. May I take a look? I'll do it, said Posey. You'll just scare her. You'll scare her. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All you need is me, said Posey. But Bluey was not looking that well. Uh-oh. What's wrong with Bluey? It's too bad. Posey formed each food flake into tiny into a tiny tiara, but Bluey was not impressed. Well, that's hard work, making flakes into tiaras. But I do love a good tiara. Who doesn't? The next day, Posey staged a full-scale fish-themed musical. Uh, getting ready for a fish themed musical. But little Bluey looked unwell. Look at him down at the bottom of the tank. Can you guys see him down there? Uh oh. Everyone will blame me, thought Posey. Posey. So Posey hid Bluey. Uh-oh. But Bluey was not napping. Bluey? Oh, no. Hmm. 
feels like the pages stuck together. I don't think it is. Yeah, it is. Posey knew what she had to do. I need help. Thank goodness she asked for help. It's okay to need help. Everybody has to help for, ask for help every once in a while. In this day and age, we have to lean on each other and help each other all the time. What can we do? Says this friend over here. Says her friend. This class came and helped. The class came and helped. Look at that, the whole class. See, that's what friends do. Friends help friends. Bluey started looking better. So did Posy. You are a great, you are a great fish friend, said Mr. Zen. Thank you for letting us help. All gathered around. The following week was Jacob's turn. Posy had lots of helpful hints. And the class couldn't help but noticing that Bluey always seemed to enjoy. What did he always seem to enjoy, I wonder? A good puppet show. Oh, who doesn't love a good puppet show? Maybe that's what we'll have to do is a puppet show. The end. So I guess that's it for today for books, unfortunately. Um, I'll have to get some more. I'll have to run out and do that right away, but I will be back tomorrow at 3 as well. Um, I thought tomorrow it's going to be a super easy craft, but um, one of my favorite things and very easy, you don't need anything but white piece of paper. Um, a couple. I like, I, I'm going to have three. Three is my favorite number, so um, if you can bring three pieces of white paper with you tomorrow for story time if you join in, and we will just make a real simple um, craft. I don't even know if you can call it a craft, but a really simple thing that we pay homage to my brother who's out in BC that he taught me how to do when I was younger, and it's one of my favorite things to, to make armies with, so... So it's a couple pieces of paper, you know, and meet me back here at three tomorrow. I'll get some more books and we will do story time with Shane as well. Next week, I'm looking at doing some story time with some teens. Uh, so if you want to join in and read along with or, you know, even we could share a screen uh, or if you'd like, we can do a Zoom meeting. And I was thinking a few of us, if you're interested, we could do the outsiders. It doesn't actually have to be teens, but. I'm going to read The Outsiders, so if anybody wants to join in on, on going through The Outsiders, that would be great. Fabulous story. Most of us uh, who've been through school know it. Yeah, I will be doing more crafts. This is this one isn't a big craft, um, but yeah, it's a crafty-like. Um, it's a good way to get started. Something new for me. So yeah, so we'll do that. So tomorrow, bring your paper. We'll do some teen reading. Um, starting next week, probably on Wednesday night. Uh, again, it'll be The Outsiders, so if you have that book, you can join and read along. And then, if anyone's interested, I will also be doing adult reading, um, private readings. I can do whatever you want, or I can also do, I have, a, I'm setting up a Cameo account too, so I can do Cameos for, like, birthday wishes. If you wanted me to send out a birthday wish and drag to someone, I can do that. So yeah, hit me up, any questions, slide into my private message or my DMs or whatever you want to call it, and we'll go from there. See you tomorrow at 3, guys. Thanks for tuning in.